morning you guys today's video is going to be super fun you are looking for like small space office room makeover i know a lot of people are working from home i hope this can give you some inspiration but let's just kind of go through a little bit of a walkthrough to show you guys where everything is going to be placed at um and like the dimensions of the room because it's not that big um you guys know this is our bed so i used to do um videos on the bed so this was the backdrop but i recently switched it to this corner over here if you're wondering where i film at now that is my little film corner so that used to be at the end of the bed here but it's perfect over there and then this is my little office corner that's the bathroom so I mean it's not that big but this is pretty functional for us so uh, this color so the Tiffany blue white and black is kind of the theme that we're going for in this office space so we are gonna be redoing this whole wall I found the perfect wallpaper I'm so excited to show you guys as you can tell right now it just kind of looks bare and it's not very inspiring to work over here and this is supposed to be like my creative outlet space so I just wanted this to be a really inspiring space. But first thing I need to do is put Ezra to sleep for a nap, start the clean and organize process. So I have been wanting my own dream office space for a while now. My husband actually surprised me with the desk about eight months ago, I believe. We purchased the five drawer Ashland shelves from Michaels at a ridiculously low price of $19.99 each. I did check and they seem to be out of stock online. You can always check in store as that's where we purchased ours. But these are the Ikea Alex George dupes. But if Michaels doesn't have it, you can always find similar ones at Bed Bath & Beyond as well. We also switched out the rolling wheels on the drawers for these white peg legs. This way nothing would move and it became a stationary desk. And then for the top of the desk, he took the dimensions that we needed by measuring the wall space, leaving about two inches on each side from the desk to the wall. Then he went to Home Depot and had them cut the wood slab to the exact size he needed, which made things super simple. Then to secure the desk to the drawers, he used small L brackets and placed them in the back. The front is not secure, which is not usually a problem unless I forget it's not secure and I try to move the desk to put the rug underneath, which happens about once a month. But nothing has broken, so we're safe for now. For the chair, he found it on sale at Office Depot for $90. We eventually want to change the silver parts out for a rose gold by using a rose gold spray paint. They actually make really good ones and it's a super cost efficient way to do it because getting a rose gold chair is actually really expensive. And then for the rug, he did purchase that at Wayfair for $30. I do want to say everything was on sale when we purchased it, and it does look like the prices aren't the same as when we bought it. So prices will vary, but I'll have everything linked in the description box below. As a little bargaining tip, I do recommend if you're not in a hurry to do anything, when you are looking for items, place them into your cart and then kind of just leave them there. Companies usually will send you an incentive email with a discount so you can go back and purchase whatever you've had in your cart for a while at a sale price and most of the times if they're already running a sale you can stack the email incentive sale on top of it as well saving you a couple extra dollars too okay so once we did a quick cleanup we went ahead and moved on to installing our wallpaper this is a pill and stick wallpaper i purchased from an etsy shop it is one of the most expensive parts of this entire makeover and definitely not necessary but i think accent walls like this really transform a space it's also a nice way to keep your small space office makeover renter friendly as it does not damage the wall and you can easily take it off if you ever move or you just want to change it up at all so you want to make sure your wall is free of any dirt dust or grime so I used a broom to get any spider webs from the ceiling and then I wiped down the wall using a microfiber cloth and a mild soap and water mixture making sure the wall was completely dry before the installation and as a tip you want to make sure you're peeling off small sections of the wallpaper from the protective back while you're putting it onto the wall and then you use a wallpaper tool to kind of squeegee the paper to the wall itself to make sure that it's really secure onto the wall if you try to stick too much of the wallpaper onto the wall at one time you do risk creasing the paper and then once the paper creases it's really hard to get any air bubbles out Okay, so when I started the wallpaper up there, um, I put it like a little on the ceiling. I didn't know how much excess she gave me, but she actually gave me a ton of excess to work with. So I could have put it higher if I wanted to, um, but this is a little bit easier. So basically I pushed it into our, I always forget what this is called, <laughs> our, our baseboards. And then I'm gonna cut gently along the baseboards here. Um, so this way it lays down and I have, when I did our bathrooms downstairs, this came in a set. So what I was using to put the wallpaper on the wall and 
and this little exacto knife um, I got it from Lowe's so it's called wall pops um, pill and stick the wallpaper so these are actual wallpaper tools um, I'll try to link them for you down below so if you guys are into pill and stick wallpapers this is a really good like tool to invest into and then another tip is to have a second person hold the wallpaper straight at the bottom, especially when you start working towards the middle. The wallpaper does have some weight to it. So if you aren't careful, it'll start to pull to one side or another causing overlapping or spacing issues. So having that second person there to help guide it really does eliminate that and makes things go by a lot faster. Installing the wallpaper did take us the longest as well since it was such a particular pattern We needed to make sure we were just going super slow So a lot of patience is needed to ensure it aligns correctly It totally pays off as you can barely tell where the three sheets connect at and I think it came out so good Okay, so he has a stud finder so he knows where to that's where the main like screws right so it doesn't just fall out the wall and then that little red thing over there is a level so what's really cool is it's actually shining a red light around the wall here and so this way he knows that it's like even when he marks everything all right so while tiffany takes care of the baby i just want to let you guys know that with these particular shelves this is all you're getting as far as support so one goes on each side so something like this isn't going to have have um, a lot of weight bearing on it so you don't want to put heavy things on it but a lot of like lightweight decorative stuff stuff should be fine picture frames uh, fake plants stuff like that okay so this diamond shelf is pretty easy to install one because my husband did it but really because everything basically just pops into place so the first thing you do is just line up the pegs to the frame and kind of just pop the frame into place and then you take the wood shelves you place them line them up with the little holes and screw them in make sure they're secure so for my original plan with this wall i wanted to go ahead and do full l shelves on the wall like across the entire section but we could not find them to fit the dimensions that we actually needed and we're not that crafty when it comes to DIY so I definitely needed to make sure I came up with a plan B so with the leveler Eric went ahead and lined up the top and bottom of the diamond hanger shelf to the two shelves that were on the main focal wall this way it still gave it an l-shaped shelf illusion without actually having that which I actually like a lot better once this was done because it is such a small office space I feel having huge wall shelves all the way across the wall may have been a little bit too overpowering so this is definitely a really good option if you like that style but you still have a small space and then to hang the diamond shelves onto the wall the kit did come with anchors so anchors just basically make the screws hold in there a little bit tighter it just makes everything a little bit more secure but even though it is more stable we still recommend you do not put anything that is too heavy on there because the screws are not meant for super heavy weight bearing items so just stick with light things like books or plants or anything like that okay Eric has put up the shelves I'm in love with it already he is now downstairs with the kids so I'm gonna take over the decorating process but before I decorate I need to clean up this mess I cannot function like this <laughs> I mean it's not even that big of a mess but there's just a lot Okay, so for the fun part of decorating, you want to make sure you're pulling everything out so you know exactly the items you'll be using for the shelves and the desk as decor pieces. I didn't want to buy too many new items as I wanted to make sure this was a cost efficient makeover. And the best way to do that is to shop your home before buying new items. Now, my husband and I are slowly redecorating our entire home. We do have an area we keep any decor that we remove from a space that we've already worked on that we no longer need there just to see if we can use it somewhere else before deciding if we're going to donate sell or just toss the item so i highly recommend if you guys are doing that make sure to see if you can use that somewhere else before getting rid of it so you don't have to buy too many new things i also wanted to make sure i was putting items into my office space that held a meeting something that motivated me and just felt good when i looked at it now i'm sure i'll continue to move things around as i find more decor pieces to add to there that just really perfects the space but for now i just wanted to make sure that everything was balanced it was within my color scheme it really had meaning and there was no awkward empty spaces one of the best ways I found to fill any of those awkward spaces were to use any books that I absolutely love so you'll see some of my favorite books on my wall shelf and it just added a nice balance to the wall hey guys 
guys, so it is done. Um, it's not perfect. I did add some more stuff. I know I was kind of playing with it a little bit. So I found some like books and things that I'm gonna add. So I'll just do a quick walkthrough with you. I did not do the drawers. That's just for another day. So when you come to the desk here, this is actually my content planner. So everything in here is like how I know which days I'm posting what. We are gonna be getting a new keyboard soon. Eventually I wanna upgrade all of this, but for right now it totally works for me. So I did get the white organizer. I was gonna get a blue one, but I thought that might be too much so I just wanted it to be white and neutral colors um, this came from Amazon I thought it was really really cool these are binder clips it came in a set um, the staple remover and then this is actually the stapler which comes with rose gold staples as well um, then some little Tiffany blue scissors and then this is just my everyday planner I got this from Amazon as well these are the bloom daily planners and then this is just kind of like my dump notebook it's just a jumble of like what my brain looks like um, of course my Joby this is what I use for vlogging not that often though because I usually just do it by hand behind here there is a little bubbling on the wall I don't know if you guys can see it that we just could not get rid of so so we had to lift up the monitor a little bit to hide that bubbling and then it just left an awkward space down here so i thought this candle which i've had for a while and i actually use it smells really good i got this from target last year for three dollars in their dollar spot um these came from amazon in a set of like five or something like that so i thought that was really nice to just get rid of that awkward space um again this is just a pin holder i got from amazon so any of my metals i wanted it to be rose gold because i thought it'd be a really good pop with the tiffany blue And then I did add the books up here, which Kat and Nat mean the world to me. They got me through some really tough times when I was a first time mom and they are just completely hilarious. And one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel, I've had this for a while, Grace Not Perfection. That's a really good book as well. It actually has places where you can write in it. It's really interactive. So another book I highly recommend. Um, and then again, those just went with this little set here um and then my sign i just kept up there but i will be switching that out soon and then i'll probably move that sign down to my desk somewhere probably on this side um to balance it out because it's really heavy on this side And then of course the focal wall, which I think this backdrop wallpaper came out so good, you guys. I cannot recommend that Etsy shop enough. Now the frames came from Target. I don't think I can link them. They were on sale for like $4. I definitely had to do that because Amazon was trying to sell these same exact frames for like $30. I just, I'm really hard on myself. One, this is totally on brand with me with like the paint swatch type of feel to it and the colors, but I just think this is a really good reminder to have in my office space definitely a part of like my messaging that I try to put out there in the world hopefully I'm doing a good job at that and then the calendar that I never changed that I've had for a year I think I found this in the Target dollar spot I think it was like seven dollars or something like that and then I do have my Aquarius which that is my zodiac sign so my Aquarius candle which smells so good I got this online from Target I just ordered everything together so I didn't have to go in store but this was $7.99 and it has rose petals freesia and cucumber blossom they do have different zodiacs too and I think they all smell different Friend, let me know in the comments below if you have these if they smell different or they're all the same scent and then that doesn't really have any significant meaning to it I just like that Scandinavian plant design which is definitely where these shelves were inspired from but it's a really nice balance to have some greenery and you guys this was $4.99 from Target highly recommend it and then the top shelf is what I'm not absolutely in love with I did um, find this book which I'm actually reading it so I'm gonna probably pull it down until I'm done reading it and go back up um, I know it seems weird 1 million followers but it is way more than just like an influencer in quotes because you know I don't like that word <laughs> but influencer book it really goes into like creating relationships and connecting with people and if you are just any type of business person social media business you own your own business I highly recommend that and then those flowers have a really big significance so they mean prosperity good fortune and good marriage and since we are creating this space which hopefully good fortune comes from in our master bedroom I wanted that to signify good marriage as well well, of course you guys know I love this saying I actually have a shirt from Target with that saying on there and then I am a coffee addict you guys know it this was a gift from Eric for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day like right after I had Aria and I could fit a whole craft of um, coffee in there so obviously I'm never gonna actually use it I think I used it once just to say I did I didn't fill it up though guys but yeah it was just taking up space downstairs in like the back of the pantry cabinet so I just wanted to pull it down because I do love it I love the colors of it and just like the design 
stuff so at least it's on display and getting used here but I absolutely love this okay and I had to walk through because I just feel like it kind of just transforms the room so yeah I mean the coloring's a little off because of that but it just gives it a whole different feeling I hope this inspires you to do the same. Let me know in the comments below if you do have a space, where your space is or where you go to just zen out as a mom and relax and stuff like that. But I'm hungry. I don't know if you saw Eric actually brought my food up here. So I'm gonna go eat with the family. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine and just rocking with me these past two years as I navigate motherhood the best I know how. But as always guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.